Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome to a 2020 NHL draft reaction video. So the draft is going to start in like eight minutes, so I'm going to quickly talk. But anyways, I want to give you guys my thoughts on before we get into draft thoughts into the Sens New Jerseys. So I'm really liking the New Jerseys. They definitely bring back the good memories of the Sens during the late 90s when they were a really competitive team and then also obviously in the earlier 2000s. Um, it's going to be a little bit weird for me not having a uh, red jersey as the home jersey because ever since I became a fan, we've always had a red jersey. Speaking of which, this was my first ever Sens jersey I ever owned. As you can see how small it is, but like tons of little signatures, this was the first jersey I ever owned. So yeah, it's going to be a little weird going to a black jersey as our primary, but I'm very excited to see how it looks in person, and I looked forward to maybe purchasing one myself down the road. In terms of the draft, the Sens have 3, 5, and 28, so I'm really excited to see what we could do with these picks. Um, I don't really care who we get, because this draft is really deep. Anybody could turn out to be a stud, who knows. Um, but at number three, I'm hoping we get Tim Stutzel because of the fact I have a little bit of German background. So it'd be kind of cool to have a German sense player because we haven't had one since like Christoph Schubert back in like 2005 to 2008, I think it was. And then also at number five, I'm hoping we get Austrian born Marco Rossi because he also played with the 67s and he looks like he's going to be a really good player. As for number 28, I actually don't know who's supposed to go around that spot, so I don't really care about who we get at that spot as long as there's somebody that ends up paying out. Like, it could be somebody that takes a few years, but I'm fine with really whoever we get in this draft. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on our picks. Um, as for, like, the rest of the rounds of the draft, I honestly don't know enough about the prospects to know who we are getting until they actually make an impact in the NHL, so... We'll find those out uh, probably tomorrow. I'm not going to do a reaction to rounds two to seven just because it's going to be going on literally all day while I'm at work. So let's go. The Kings welcome Mike Fuda. And I think it's safe to I wonder where Askarov is going to go. Hopefully somewhere <laughs> that doesn't affect the sentence. <laughs> this is probably going to be the best draft since like 2003 is what I heard. So should be good to see who goes where. New York Rangers. New York Rangers, you are on the clock. Okay, and have a look at the uh, the Rangers table there at the head, of course, Jeff Gordon. It was February the 8th, by the way, guys, 2018, when the Rangers essentially waved the white Before they make their choice, I want to say, uh, Remember, Henrik uh, congratulations tears, to your Rangers fans. Leaving, gonna strip it down My sins haven't had first overall since 96, but uh, this is a good pick for you guys. The first selection in the 2020 NHL draft will be made by New York Rangers general manager, Jeff Gort. With the first pick in the 2020 NHL draft, the New York Rangers are proud to select from the Ramuski Oceanic, Alexi Lafreniere. Congrats Rangers fans. <laughs> and congrats to Lafreniere too. Celebratory hugs for Alexi Lafreniere. Uh Oh, they're getting, uh, I wonder what Irving jersey number he's going to wear because obviously there, he can't wear number 11 because Mark Messier. To grow, and that's scary so he's it's going to be interesting. Kings, Rob Blake. <laughs> that backdrop. <laughs> the Los Angeles Kings are proud to select with the second pick in the 2020 entry draft from Sudbury Wolves in the entire hockey league, Quinton Byfield. I knew Byfield was going to go. Because I think that's a really good pick for LA because Kopitar could help uh, mold him into a really good 200 foot player. So that's a good pick for LA. Uh, and it leaves Stutzel available. The Hopefully the Sens get him. Hopefully they don't choke this. <laughs> well, I mean, they could still get a good player at number three, even if it's not Stutzel, but still. I really want Stutzel. It's crazy that Byfield was born in 2002 and he's like so huge in comparison to me. <laughs> And I was now, born six years you before him. Thing about that, going back to 1999, maybe <laughs> Brian Burke. I'm sure there's a Sedin story coming up later. Back to Sakakis and the commissioner, Gary Bat. Here we go, <laughs> baby. To make the third selection in the 2020 NHL draft, the Senators have enlisted the services of a special guest, who also happens to be a graduate of the University of Ottawa. Hmm. 
Oh, Alex Trebek. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy. Our category today is the NHL. And here is the clue. This for is you. awesome. With the third pick in the 2020 <laughs> NHL draft, the Ottawa Senators choose this player. It's probably Tim Stutzel, but damn, this is literally hilarious. Correct response: Who is Tim Stutzel? Let's go. <laughs> I'm really excited about this pick. Uh, Let's that go. That was fantastic, and that was done really well. Expected. Alex Trebek with the pick for the Ottawa Senators. If you're expecting Pierre Dorian. Uh, sorry, Alex Trebek announcing Tim Stutzla's name. He goes third overall. Uh, quickly, before we get to the player, thoughts on Alex Trebek making the pick, Sam? You never thought we'd see that. Germans for 200, please, and we yes. might get him back for a couple of more in the later part of the round. <laughs> You're looking at Reichel and Paterka uh, down the road here in this first round as well. Oh, so a nice black jersey cool on. Be able to do that. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. fantastic. What does Ottawa, as he puts on the sweater and puts on the ball cap as well, what is Ottawa getting with this player through? Well, you're getting a guy who's got great feet and he has the ability to match the hands with the feet and that's a tough combination to find usually one is ahead of the other but that's not the case with this young man the most impressive part about him though i believe is yeah we can watch him make plays we can watch him score goals a first power play unit playing now who are we going to get at number five is the thing hopefully it's rossi but if it's drysdale he runs the power play off the half then i'll be fine with that too that. But he's got great admiration from his team. Or Lucas Raymond, even. Mark used to play in the Ontario Hockey League in Sarnia. I gave him a call, and I said, what is it about this guy? I mean, is he the real deal? Like, what's going on? He said, oh, you have no idea. Not only is he an unbelievable person, an amazing player, but we can't get him out of the rink. He's the first guy to the rink. He's wanting to work on his off-ice stuff. He's wanting to work on his skills. He's wanting to work on his skating. And you look at him, it looks like he's cut out of stone. He looks a little bit like Ivan Drago from Rocky. I mean, this guy is ready to rock and roll. I love what he brings to the table. And Pierre Dorian was just sitting there saying, come to come to mama, come to mama. He's either going to get byfield or Stutzla, and he got a great one there. Uh, symptoms, uh, Chris Draper will handle. Oh yeah, this pick also kind of is important because uh, I'm doing a Detroit NHL 21 franchise mode series starting this Friday, so whoever gets picked here will probably be as part of uh, our franchise mode. And if there's somebody that's from like the US or something like that, maybe we'll make them. Also, speaking of Steve Eisenman, he went to the uh, same high school as I did, so that's kind of cool. A way before. And the smiling Steve Eisenman. Is this the first real pick that someone needs to make? Oh yeah, this is where it really starts to rock. And I saw a tweet just I mean, now though that they might be going off the board with this pick no a bit. Question, but when you talk about so we'll see what pick, happens. There are a variety. The fourth selection in the 2020 NHL draft will be made by Detroit Red Wings director of amateur scouting, Chris Draper. Oh, Chris Draper. <laughs> with the fourth pick in the 2020 entry draft, the Detroit Red Wings are very excited to select from Fralunda, Lucas Raymond. Wow. Raymond goes number four. Okay. I think that's like a solid pick for them. I mean, it gets them another good forward. But still, I was expecting them to take like a defenseman like Drysdale or something because they need one. Huh. Would they look at the goaltender? Would they look Congrats, at the Detroit goal fans. Freddy? Hopefully, Would he pans out to being a really good player for you. Lucas Raymond, the winger who started the season off fantastic so far, Sam, is now a member of the Detroit Red Wings. So that leaves us with a chance Lucas to Raymond get Marco Rossi, really which is good. Like Hopefully, we get him. If not, Drysdale will be nice. Uh, trying to think about who else is going in that area. Perfetti, I don't know. I would rather probably Drysdale or, like I said, or, or Rossi, one of those two guys. I mean, he's an elite player. He's got incredible. I think I would still prefer Rossi over a defenseman, considering where he have Brandstrom, Chabot, and a lot of other defensive prospects. But I mean, I won't be mad if we take one of the defensemen. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Alex Trebek for helping us with our third selection. We'd also like to welcome Tim Stutzla to the organization. The Senators of Ottawa are very proud to choose. The Ottawa Senators are real proud to select from the United States National Team Development Program and the University Jake of Sanderson. North Dakota, 
Jake Sanderson. Okay. Piling up on more defensemen. I like it. More of an all-around defenseman. Oh, they hasn't seen it yet. Wait, tell him to see it. Okay, so we have a little bit of a delay, but oh. you will see the celebration. And for those that don't know, Jake Sanderson, the defenseman who's uh, pretty awesome, to Nodak, uh, is the son of former NHL. Sucks that we didn't get Rossi, Jeff but I'll Sanderson. take Berkey, Jake what Sanderson. Can you tell us about Dad before we start to drill down on Jake the son. Well, I only lasted a year in Hartford, so I only had Sandy, <laughs> <laughs> only had Sandy for a year, but I'm pretty sure he scored 46 goals for us, and we were terrible. He was a joy to have. Great player, great teammate. I'm glad this kid's bigger than his dad, though. This kid's 6'3". <laughs> I called the dad last week to check. Yeah, he's going to be a good defenseman to put towards, I uh, like, this side. Somebody top, like, top pick, and now I don't know who necessarily. What do you do but still, he's going to be a really good, two like, uh, two-way uh, defender. Not as offensive like Drysdale. Six three, 100, well, now over 200 pounds left shot defenseman, but he's really good in his own end. Here he has a good stick, separates the puck from the man no problem initiates the breakout how about a tight gap here yeah i'm just going to erase this play pinch him off to the boards pucks turned over there we go we exit the zone he's got potential to be a top two defender comparable to ryan Suter too it's good as long as he doesn't get signed to a contract like ryan Suter. with the 28th selection the ottawa senators are proud to select from brandon of the whl ridley greg nice okay Getting a nice feisty kind of guy. For like probably like the top nine, maybe the bottom six. I don't know. I like that pick too. It's pretty good. Doesn't have a lot of weight to him, so definitely needs to bulk up a bit. It looks like, but still. Like it. So, anyways, guys, while this is going on, I'm going to end this video because I've been like literally recording for way too long, and I need to edit this. So. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of about the draft of the first round in general down below because this, like, I don't know what's going to happen after this in terms of drafting, but give me your thoughts down below. Um, also, if you like NHL 21 content and stuff like that, consider subscribing. I'm going to be posting some of that on Friday and next week. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.